Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion, we're off to an abandoned railway station in Denoli. Denoli is a closed railway station on the Mildura line in the town of Denoli, Victoria, Australia. It is located 177 kilometers or 109 miles northwest from the state capital, Melbourne. The station was one of 35 closed passenger traffic on the 4th of October, 1981 as part of the New Deal timetable for country passengers and in lieu they got a bus service. So without further ado let's check out the sights and sounds of the Danoli railway station. Now once again I just want to reiterate to everyone that I am no expert in anything to do with railways, trains or their infrastructure. So this is the back of the Denoli Railway Station. Now it's right next to some like silos, grain silos. Now yeah, just across the way is like some sort of storage facility. Workshops, maintenance, not sure. This is the side on of the station. Now there's definitely trains that go on this line. I don't know if you can notice, but some of the tracks are very shiny. <laughs> Being a, a, a novice train sort of person, that sort of tells me that yes, trains do go on it. And this is the station. This has been closed for quite some time. Yet the tracks suggest that, you know, this is being used by either freight or passenger trains, but they just obviously don't stop here. It's all boarded up. This is the only sign to say where you're at or what the station's name is. Wow, somehow I don't think they ever get used again. Here we have a shed. Um, for its use, I have no idea. Was it once a storage for coal? No idea for the old steam trains, no idea. Um, I don't see any tanks, so obviously um, that was removed. What is interesting, way over there in the distance, right in the centre of the screen now, is the Terminus Hotel. I'm thinking, wow. Um, that must have been something in its heyday, but it's a private residence at the moment. Here's that building directly opposite. Is it for storage? Yeah, I, I would say so. Maybe you'd bring all your um, gear that you're taking either to, I'm assuming Melbourne, uh, there and get weighed, get loaded up, and away you go. I do like this thing. This is pretty cool. How often do you see one of these on the tracks doing maintenance in the middle of nowhere? It is pretty cool. I could do with one of these. Especially on the abandoned tracks. And once you have to get off, you get off. That's terrific. Hey, so they're your maintenance guys. That would be a cool job. If you like the outdoors, that's the job for you. Now, they are spraying a mist. Now, <laughs> I can only guess, probably totally wrong, something to do with weeding, maybe? Um, kill off all the weeds that are on the tracks, 
so they can't interfere with with the tracks in any which way. So here we are at this shed. I'll just come in here and have a look. Ooh, it looks pretty rickety. And I do like those. I don't know what it is about those hinged sliding doors that you see on a lot of farm properties. Um, they look pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure with what's going on with this thing. Um, I can guess and say it was a well at one stage. And no, obviously no longer in use. Um, there's a more modern sort of a tank. But I don't think that was for steam engines or locomotives it's just too small now there is something interesting directly behind my car which i thought looked pretty neat and i'll show you now i would have mentioned how trees of all things never got much of a uh, attention to when i was traveling around and working and whatnot but for some reason, trees now play a role in what I look for. Um, I don't know what it is, but the ones that sort of are on their own or unusual grab my um, attention. And this one is just terrific. Imagine this being in a school somewhere for kids to roam around in. Um, and on a rainy day, as a teacher, if you were one, what a cool place this would be. You're totally covered by this tree. This is right next to the railway station. It's a beautiful tree. And uh, you would not get, you could camp here uh, without any sort of tent. And I think you'd be able to find a few locations under this canopy of, of branches and leaves without even getting wet. It's absolutely fantastic. You can see the car through there. I'll zoom back up to the main size of the trunk. So if we look up the trunk, it's like a giant umbrella. Maybe the image doesn't do it justice, but um, as much as you can see a lot of light up there, it's also blocking out a lot of the um, the rain or the sunlight to a certain degree much cooler in here than it is out outside or away from under this tree which is also quite interesting i thought i'd share that with you before i put the drone up it's like the bat cave i could see batman zooming out with his what was it 1966 style um what was it a futura ford futura was it the, the first Batman that was on TV. That's the one I remember. Anyway, we'll put the drone up. Let's see what we see.
are nearing the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it and if you did by all means click on that like button or that thumbs up icon. Please consider subscribing, subscribing doesn't cost you one cent, helps out the channel immensely. But most importantly, stay safe, commute safe and have a great day.